Whoa! California Wine House, Washington Avenue. Holy! What the f is happening here? Whoa! I'm in Leeds, North Dakota. Just behind me is where the old passenger train station once stood. Today we're gonna to probe the ground and try to find some of the old garbage dumps that would have been buried way back when. We'll take a walk around and see what we can find. Seems we found something here. I kicked some rectangle shape in the ground that marks the dimensions. There's a ton of stove ashes, coal ash, and I felt some objects, possibly some glass down below. So we'll take off the topsoil and see what's down there down three feet at best when we've already found the water table. I've been digging through coal ash left over from the locomotives. I think the railroads built the grade up for the depot out of this stuff, but I probed this thing out seven to nine feet deep, so we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Wow, this thing is loaded. Old top beer, or early machine made. Pre prohibition. Let's see what else is in here. Another beer, same age. Looks like a soda. Nothing on it, that is unusual. Let's see. Oh, eight fluid ounces. Definitely a soda. It sort of had a paper label on it. Prohibition liquor flask. We found the wood line sides and also a telecom cable. But I've been feeling all kinds of stuff down here. Uh, tooled top, getting better age. So beer. Tool top extract. Take a scoop down and boom, nice soil. You can see undigested seeds. Definitely in an undipped outhouse pit. I was uh, rubbing the shovel across a few things down here. I'll see if I can find any of them. Looks like another beer, tool top. Oh, Leeds Bottling Works, Leeds, North Dakota. That's a tooled top. Oh, that's great age. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Boot heel, shoe heel of some sort. Oh, this is a mess down here. Cold water feels good though. That might be it. I'll have to uh, clean some more water out. Cleared just about through the cap layer. Saw uh, something float up here. 
tooled top drugstore bottle. Pre-World War One. That's good age. Another one floating. Little juice bottle. I find these in a lot of train station pits. This pit's absolutely loaded. We're trying to dig down a well area here for the water to go in, and bottles keep coming out. Machine made liquor flask. Got another one in the process. There's a bunch more here. Made beer. Tool top liquor flask. Looks like this feels like there's some writing on the bottom. What's that say? Perfection. Perfection. Huh, never dug one of those. Broken kind of utilitarian bottle, early machine made. Amazing. Machine made liquor pint. Top extract. Uh, tool top, AM Smith, Minneapolis Wine Depot, 1914. I love how these are dated. Machine-made drugstore bottle. That's an earlier style. Usually these aren't machine-made. Machine-made beer. like their alcohol. Tool top. Edgeley Bottling Works, Edgeley, North Dakota. Whoa! If I remember correctly, there's only two others known. That is wild. They were only in business for a year or two.
Whoa. Machine made, Jacob Schmidt. Brewing Company, St. Paul, Minnesota. Machine-made beer. No writing. Really having to dig is pull bottles out. Liquor flask, machine-made. Tooled top beer. Let's see, what's it say on it? AB Company, American Bottle Company. Ooh, it's a Paris style drugstore bottle. These are usually embossed. The age is getting better. Made liquid flask. <laughs> you just feel bottles all over here. Just gotta like unwedge them, unsuction them from the mud. <sighs> Liquor bottle. Tool top. Found all the sides. Still rotted boards in place. It's kind of cool. Clean out this corner. Another juice bottle. Welch's. Welch's Junior. Machine made. Another liquor flask. Machine made. Half pint. American Bottle Company. One, two, three. The water is just washing everything off. Look at that cold cream container. Wow. It's like Tool Top Ham's Beer from St. Paul. Big whiskey bottle, corks half pushed out of it. Machine made. Tool top, drugstore bottle. Another drugstore bottle, tooled top.
machine made liquor flask, glass stopper. First person to pull this stopper out in a hundred years. Another liquor flask. This is just before Prohibition. That's a newer style than I usually dig. Another machine made liquor court. Still haven't found bottom. Water keeps washing stuff off. Looks like another liquor flask. Yeah, machine made. Another machine made. There's this one just floating here. Cool when they float up. Uh, early machine made also. Uh, looks like the water washed off another one. What is this thing? Huh. Looks like some kind of drugstore bottle. Possibly. Richards. Okay, that's a clue. It's a tooled top. And some kind of beer bottle. Tooled top. WFNS Milwaukee. Looks like there's a soda possibly on the way out, or a small beer. Let's see. Okay, it's a small machine-made beer. Just stuff everywhere in here. Broken drugstore bottle. Top whiskey. Tool top drugstore bottle, the cork still in it. Made liquor flask. Another one. Amazed at all the liquor flasks. This one's a tooled top. Another drugstore bottle.
two tool top drugstore bottles. Top whiskey and a tool top drugstore bottle. Seems all the bottles rolled to this side here. California Winehouse, Washington Avenue. Holy, what the fuck is happening here? Whoa. I am one of the luckiest guys alive. So that bottle I had pulled up, I'd mentioned it had liquor in it. it must have been wine that had fermented over a hundred or so years and the pressure of being out of the ground caused it to explode. Now, this and other pieces shot up five, six plus feet in the air, out of the pit, onto the ground. I've never had this happen before. I've dug 1,350 plus pits, thousands and thousands of bottles. Wow. The water is flowing in and actually cleaning bottles off here. Machine-made liquor flask. Uh, another one. Hmm. What's going on with this thing? Tool top. Not sure I've ever dug a liquor flask like this before. Uh, there's a patent date on bottom. Let's see if I can clear that off. Just get my glove off here. Design patented. Hmm. Some kind of a clue anyway. tooled top. This pit is loaded. Oh, this might be a soda. Beer. Tooled top beer. AB company. Machine-made beer. I can still smell that fermented wine down here. Oh. Machine-made liquor flask. Leeds Bottling Works, Leeds, North Dakota. Tool top soda. Drugstore bottle, tool top. Uh, extract bottle. Good iridescence. No writing. Shooter whiskey, one ounce. 
this one floated up. Another little liquor flask. Yeah, let's see here. Machine made. Oh, grain belt. Grain belt beer. Nice. Beer. WFNS Milwaukee. in here. Drugstore bottle. Tooled top. Never seen one of these. What's that say? Pure grape juice. Schules. Pure grape juice. It's machine made. Top beer. And another. Top beer. WFNS Milwaukee. <sighs> Davis, vegetable painkiller. liquor flask Kohai dug these before that was a brand and the water's still running in but oh, there's still a ton of pieces here it's like a machine made liquor bottle Bitters.
really machine made. This pit is starting to smell terrible. She made liquor flask. And another. There's a board in the way here. Machine made. Oh my god, this is smelling terrible down here. <sighs> Tool top liquor flask. Some nice iridescence on it. Wow, a couple of tool top drugstore bottles. Made liquor flask, tool top. My bad. Oh. Wow, look at the iridescence on that thing. Machine made. do this. This is basically sewage. <sighs> oh wow. A turn mold blob beer. The age is getting better. Liquor bottle with a glass stopper. This thing keeps going. Uh -oh. This is one of the bigger pits I've dug. There's probably 10 bottles on the way out down here. Whew. Here we go. Oh, okay. So, first of all, tooled top beer. WFNS Milwaukee.
tooled top looker flask. Oh, A.M. Smith. We have 1903. There we go. Minneapolis, Minnesota. All right. And this one didn't explode. Ton of stuff down here. Let's see. Tool top drugstore bottle. Good iridescence. Blown out shoulder. I thought I saw one in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh. Pensler. Try it. I've dug these before. I think it's a perfume or a toiletry. Hmm. Oh, still working my way across bottom. This is basically sewage at this point. I, oh my god. This is bad. Uh, see the lime. We turned on the pits back in the day to neutralize the smell. Let's see here. I'll have to bucket some more out. This is absolutely amazing. Pulled this up out of the water. The water table preserves papers and organic goods. Uh, receipts from the Great Northern Express Company. Early 1900s. This is absolutely amazing. We got a hutch. There's a top down there. Just below the water. Oh, it's blank. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're in the hutch era anyway. Alright. Old top liquor flask. Drugstore bottle. I think we're just about on bottom. Oh wow. Broken master ink. I need to get this cleared out. Here's the bottom of the bracing to the privy. The bottom of the pit's just right there. So let's work my way across. Bottle sticking out all over. Tool top liquor flask. And another. Broken liquor flask. shirt collar. Oh, that's really something. There's a stamp on it. AJ Colgan. There's basically a wall of bottles here. Uh, uh, running low on daylight. Try to get done what I can. There's a tooled top drugstore bottle. A couple machine made liquor flasks. Oh. And this little tooled top brown bottle. It could be a little poison or iodine. 
Look at that. Three piece mold whiskey. liquor flasks. One on the left's machine made, right's a tooled top. This has a cool kind of plate on it on the front. Drugstore bottle, tooled top. Another liquor flask. Made beer. A couple of liquor bottles. Drugstore bottle. for a bottle and a liquor flask. Look at that old ink. <laughs> Whoa. That's something else. The master ink. Drugstore bottle. Down here at the bottom of the pit. So I made this conclusion. They were using catalog pages, cloth. The corn cobs is <laughs> toilet paper. Uh, still have a ways to go, but I've got a few pieces on the way out. A Blank Hutchinson bottle, another one, huh? 15 on bottom. Really machine made beer. <sighs> Broken drugstore bottle. liquor flask tool top drugstore bottle oh, the sludge is hard to dig through Hmm. 
machine made liquor flask. Some broken beers. A lot of the stuff in the spot's broken. I think they. This was underneath the hold of the outhouse. So this stuff just kind of fell on each other and broke. Another little liquor bottle. Machine made. Continuing across, felt a bottle down here. It's like a tooled top beer, nothing home on it. But I felt something else. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Another beer, really machine made. This pit's just right at the era where the machine made bottles started taking over. Okay, now over here. Looks like a couple liquor flasks. Yeah. Tool top on the left, machine made on the right. Uh, this is one of the most loaded pits I've ever been in. It just keeps coming. Liquor flask, tooled top. The iridescence down here is just amazing. Look at that. Wow. Drugstore bottle. utility bottle. Oh, okay, it's increments I felt embossing. Flask. And another. Oh wow. Well. Shoe fly bottle. Earlier style li liquor flask, basically. Made liquor flask. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. All these liquor flasks. It's amazing. I don't know if it was the railroad workers or passengers on the train. Probably a combination of both. Machine made Dr. SBH and Company.
sheet made of tool top beer. No, it's machine made. Yeah, machine made. No wine or whiskey. Drugstore bottle, tool top. Beer machine made. Just a wall of bottles. Liquor flask, tool top. Drugstore bottle. Another drugstore bottle. Some kind of perfume. These are usually embossed. Jar, some sort, machine made. Liquor flask and a beer bottle, both machine made. There's the wall. Awesome. Liquor flask. Let's see. Liquor flask. Tool top liquor flask. Three more liquor flasks. Here's the haul. This was absolutely insane. 213 bottles. This bottom row is all drugstore bottles. These next three rows are all whiskeys. There's over a hundred. Next row is all beers. And we got some odds and ends here. Some medicines, a boot, a couple juice bottles of Master Inc. Six sodas, two unembossed hutches, two Leeds crown tops, and one from Edgeley, North Dakota. A few extracts, cold cream, top right, some utility bottles next to that, a few wines, a jar, perfume, bitters. What a day. I'm gonna get it filled in and hit the road.